here we go. Got ourselves a nice fish. Oh, and this fish wants to go underneath the boat. He doesn't want to come in. How are we doing everyone? Don Gina here for Illinois Outdoors and I want to bring to you the tip of the week. Oh man, this guy's a little spunky here. Not the biggest fish in the lake, but boy, I'll tell you what, it's a nice one. Boy, we've had some difficult times catching some fish today. And that's why I got a little bit of a tip for you. We're sight fishing. We're basically looking for fish and rocks. Let me get this fish out of the water. <laughs> now that's a smallmouth bass, okay? We're sight fishing. One way to catch these fish in these rocks is they have a good pair of Polaroid sunglasses. And I'll tell you what, since we've got a new sponsor of the television show and a sponsor for our radio show for our trip, it's fish gills, polarized, and floating sunglasses. As soon as I get this, this jig out of the fish's mouth and let them go, I'll give you a close look at what we're up to here. There we go. Got that hook out of him. We'll let this guy go now. Anyway, reason what we what we what we why we're doing what we're doing is we had a front that moved in. We got clear blue skies and everything else. We can see in the water real well with sunglasses. And what I'm wearing is a pair of fishgill sunglasses. They're polarized and what's really unique about them is they also float. Uh, I don't know how many times have you ever been out on the water and you get caught in some wind or something like that when you're running into your boat or you take them off for a minute, you know, and you set them down and next thing you know you forgot about where they're at and you kick them and they're in the water. These guys float, which is kind of like a really neat thing. They also have available a nice, a nice case that you can take and you can even put your regular prescription glasses in there while you're uh, wearing the, the regular fish gill sunglasses. Should your case get going uh, go, go and get kicked into the water, no big deal. This floats as well. It's a good idea to, to, to have a good pair of sunglasses, a good pair of Polaroid sunglasses. It's a real plus to have a pair of sunglasses that float. Uh, you won't lose them or anything else. And I think that uh, uh, having these fishgill sunglasses uh, is real an advantage because I'm able to see these big rocks in the water uh, because they have real good polarization. We see the rocks, what we do is we put the bait behind the rock, drag it over, and usually these are good ambush, ambush points for the, for the smallmouth bass. We're gonna have to take a little break. We'll be back with more of Illinois Outdoors. I'm Don DeGino, we'll see you in just a moment.